Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths tutorial video on how we can manage student accounts, teacher accounts and classes. Now I've just logged in, I'm on my dashboard here and the way we can set up a new class is we could click this link here, I can see set up a class or if we go to the settings menu we can go to manage classes or manage teachers. So if we go to manage teachers first and I get um, a list of the teachers in my school and I should note obviously that all this data is anonymised. So we can add new teachers here, I can click this button, I can select the title of the teacher, their, their name, etc, their email address, and then that teacher will receive an email asking them to activate their account. Now if for some reason they don't receive that email, that they'll appear on this list anyway, and you click a particular teacher, and you can see there's a force activation button here, and that will manually activate their account if for some reason they don't receive that email. I can also edit the details for teacher, I can uh, change their password, I can delete their account, uh, or I can change the allocated classes um, of a teacher. And you can also, if you select multiple teachers, you could always delete uh, multiple teachers at the same time if you wanted to do that. So let's um, add a new class now. I'm going to click the link here, add class, and we've got this new dialog here. So let's give the class a name, so test class, year group, uh, year 11, let's say. Uh, I'm going to assign a teacher, so I'm just going to assign myself, but you can, as you can assign multiple teachers to a class. And if you set up any schemes of work, you can set the scheme of work. So I'm just going to give this class um, the Year 11 scheme of work. So if I then click Submit, that will create the new class. And you will now get this message about how you can add uh, student accounts to this class. So there's three options here. You can either let the students create the account themselves, so it gives you this URL and you email your students that URL and uh, that will then tell them how they can join your class. It will give them a passcode um, as well. You can also just put the names of the students in yourself without email addresses um, and then you'll be then given again um, a URL which you can email to your students and then when they go to that link they'll then be able to select their name from a drop down menu. Or you can put in all the details yourself. So you can put in their name and email address and it will completely create the account. So let's click OK uh, and we can see we can add students here. We've got all the details about the class here which we can always modify. But I'm going to add some students. If I click here, add students. So there's op different options here. I can move them from another class so I can find a student and then that will give me the option to move them from another class or I can do a bulk add import and I'll explain this in a second or you can just add a single student by just specifying their first name, their surname and their email address. But I'm going to use this bulk add import. So it explains here that basically you put their surname, then comma and then their first name and then optionally you could always have their email address as well and it explains it all in the information here. So if you've got a, a spreadsheet with um, your students and this is some made up uh, data I've got the surname, first name, and I do have the email address, so I'm just going to select that. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to just paste it into here. So if I then click continue, it will then check those accounts, and these accounts so I haven't added them before, so it's just going to create a new account. Uh, but it will warn you when there's a potential conflict. So if there's um, a student already with that name, then, for example, let's say it was Joe Bloggs in year eight, that's not actually a real person, um, I can move them from the other class. Um, so they're, they're in currently a class called test and I want to move them to the test class. So I want to actually just create a new student there. It's someone completely new. And I click submit. And I've now got these students in my class here. So we can see the students here. And if I select a particular student, I have the same kind of options with teachers. So um, I can always forcibly activate their account if they didn't receive the email. I can delete their account, change their password, edit their details. I can remove them from the class. I can move what class they're in as well. And if you lose that particular link uh, that you had earlier for them to um, register themselves, then it's always here if you didn't supply their email address. A couple of last features to show you. If I was to type uh, my class into the search bar up here, so I've, I've clicked up here, I do test class, and I can see my test class here. And if I click that class, I can then quickly get to that dialog to manage their account, so I can view the, the class's progress, 
or their homeworks, or I can use demo accounts. If I click manage accounts, it will take me immediately back to this class. Um, and it's a nice quick way of finding your class. The other uh, feature which is really nice is the um, using the demo account. So every class has a kind of demo user account and that allows you as a teacher to see what it would be like as a student in that class, what they would actually see. So if I click that and then I can see the dashboard of this particular student and I can see what homework assignments they have, etc. If you're trying to find a student in order to manage their account, you can quickly type their name into the search bar. So if we type in Joseph Bloggs, now my screen will scramble their name, but that would usually say Joseph Bloggs. If I click him, then I've got these various options here. Uh, let's say I want to move his class or edit his details. Let's move his class. I click that and it goes straight to the class management um, page. It goes to the correct class. It selects a student for you and it's clicked the move button for you so you can quickly move him to another class.